everyone, welcome back to our channel. During the naturalization interview, USCIS officers may ask you to define words on the N-400 application form, especially in Part 12, to verify your ability to speak and understand English. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the most asked word definitions based on the feedback from the actual applicant's experiences. Our goal is to provide you with the necessary knowledge to feel confident and well-prepared as you study for the citizenship test. Are you ready? Let's begin. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. False, fraudulent, or misleading. What does false, fraudulent, or misleading mean? To say or do something that is not true. What does false, fraudulent, or misleading mean? To say or do something that is not true. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. O taxes. Do you know the meaning of O taxes? To owe the government money. Do you know the meaning of O taxes? To owe the government money. Overdue. Do you know the meaning of overdue? Past a deadline. Do you know the meaning of overdue? Past a deadline. Were you ever involved in any way with forcing, or trying to force, someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relation? No. Forcing sexual contact or relations. What does forcing sexual contact or relations mean? To touch someone's body when they don't want it. What does forcing sexual contact or relations mean? To touch someone's body when they don't want it. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Prostitute. What is a prostitute? People pay you for sex. What is a prostitute? People pay you for sex. Procure. What does procure mean? You pay someone for sex. What does procure mean? You pay someone for sex. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Public benefit. What does public benefit mean? Food stamps, welfare, free health insurance. What does public benefit mean? Food stamps, welfare, free health insurance. Did you ever sell? Give or provide weapons to any person? No. Weapons. What does weapons mean? Like a knife or gun. What does weapons mean? 
Like a knife or gun. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. Alimony. Could you explain to me what alimony is? Money you pay to a spouse after divorce. Could you explain to me what alimony is? Money you pay to a spouse after divorce. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. Illegal gambling. Tell me what illegal gambling means. Play cards or games for money and don't pay taxes. Tell me what illegal gambling means. Play cards or games for money and don't pay taxes. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Smuggle drugs. What does smuggle drugs mean? Hide drugs to sell illegally. What does smuggle drugs mean? Hide drugs to sell illegally. Illegal drugs or narcotics. What does illegal drugs or narcotics mean? Drugs like cocaine or heroin. What does illegal drugs or narcotics mean? Drugs like cocaine or heroin. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No. Arrested. Explain the meaning of arrested. Handcuffed by the police. Explain the meaning of arrested. Handcuffed by the police. Cited. Explain the meaning of cited. Given a ticket by police. Explain the meaning of cited. Given a ticket by police. Detained. Explain the meaning of detained. Held in custody by police. Explain the meaning of detained. Held in custody by police. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. Persecute. What does persecute mean? To hurt someone badly. What does persecute mean? To hurt someone badly. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Habitual drunkard. Do you understanding the meaning of habitual drunkard? Someone who drinks too much alcohol regularly. Do you understanding the meaning of habitual drunkard? Someone who drinks too much alcohol regularly. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated with a terrorist organization? No. Terrorist organization. 
What is terrorist organization? An organization that uses violence against people. What is terrorist organization? An organization that uses violence against people. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. Title of nobility or hereditary title. What does title of nobility or hereditary title mean? King, Queen, Prince, Princess. What does title of nobility or hereditary title mean? King, Queen, Prince, Princess. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Legally incompetent. What is legally incompetent? Having mental problems. What is legally incompetent? Having mental problems. Mental institution. What is mental institution? Hospital for people with mental problem. What is mental institution? Hospital for people with mental problem. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. Immigration benefit. What is immigration benefit? Things like a visa green card or citizenship. What is immigration benefit? Things like a visa green card or citizenship. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Register to vote. What does register to vote mean? To sign up to vote. What does register to vote mean? To sign up to vote. Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. File a tax return. What does file a tax return mean? To send tax paperwork to the government. What does file a tax return mean? To send tax paperwork to the government. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No. Genocide. Do you know what genocide means? To kill a whole race. Do you know what genocide means? To kill a whole race. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Vote. What does vote mean? To elect new leaders. What does vote mean? To elect new leaders. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. 
claim to be a U.S. citizen. Do you know the meaning of claim to be a U.S. citizen? Say you are a U.S. citizen but you are not. Do you know the meaning of claim to be a U.S. citizen? Say you are a U.S. citizen but you are not. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. Kill. What does kill mean? Cause someone to die. What does kill mean? Cause someone to die. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit, a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Crime. What is a crime? An action that breaks the law. What is a crime? An action that breaks the law. Offense. What does offense mean? A minor crime. What does offense mean? A minor crime. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No. Torture. What is torture? To hurt someone physically. What is torture? To hurt someone physically. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Bigamy. What is bigamy? Married to more than one person at the same time. What is bigamy? Married to more than one person at the same time. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Convicted. Do you know what convicted means? Court proves you did a crime. Do you know what convicted means? Court proves you did a crime. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison or jail? No. Prison or jail. What is prison or jail? A place where criminals are kept. What is prison or jail? A place where criminals are kept. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated with the Communist Party? No. Communist Party. What is Communist Party? No freedom like China, Cuba, North Korea. What is Communist Party? No freedom like China, Cuba, North Korea. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. Probation. Please explain the meaning of probation. Stay out of jail under supervision. 
please explain the meaning of probation? Stay out of jail under supervision. Parole. Please explain the meaning of parole. Get out of prison early for good behavior. Please explain the meaning of parole. Get out of prison early for good behavior. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? No. Alternative sentencing. What is an alternative sentencing? A different way to punish someone instead of going to jail, such as community service. What is an alternative sentencing? A different way to punish someone instead of going to jail, such as community service. Rehabilitative program. What is a rehabilitative program? Court orders you to go to a program to recover from drugs or alcohol. What is a rehabilitative program? Court orders you to go to a program to recover from drugs or alcohol. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Oath of Allegiance What is an oath of allegiance? A promise to be loyal to the United States. What is an oath of allegiance? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. The Constitution. What is the Constitution? The Supreme Law of the Land. What is the Constitution? The Supreme Law of the Land. Form of Government. What is form of government? Republic. What is form of government? Republic. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. Non-combatant services. What does non-combatant services mean? Services that do not involve combat. What does non-combatant services mean? Services that do not involve combat. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. Bear arms. Do you understand what bear arms means? To own or use a gun. Do you understand what bear arms means? To own or use a gun. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Work of national importance. What is work of national importance? 
Tasks that are important to a nation. What is work of national importance? Tasks that are important to a nation. Civilian direction. What does civilian direction mean? A direction from a person who is not in the military. What does civilian direction mean? A direction from a person who is not in the military.